Hi, I'm Ollie. I'm reading classics. Hi, I'm Teresa and I read PPA. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm reading German. Hey, I'm Georgia and I do English Literature and Language. Hi, I'm Andrew and I study Engineering. Hi, I'm Grace and I study French. Hello, my name is Lottie and I'm studying Physics here. Hi, I'm Rob. I read History. Hey, my name is Ambler and I do Engineering. Hi, I'm Viola and I study Classics. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by some <laughs> friends uh, to talk about our interview experiences um, at Oxford. I applied for Classics 2A um, for deferred entry in 2014, so I interviewed two years ago. Hi, I'm Trudea, uh, I read PPE. I applied in my gap year, um, and yeah. I'm Julia, and I actually applied to do German Beginners Russian, but I'm now just studying German. Um, and I just applied in my school. Hi, I'm Georgia. I applied to do English and I'm studying English and I'm applied <laughs> <laughs> straight after A levels. Hi, um, I'm Ollie. I'm doing Classics 1A and I applied in my last year of school. When you get invited down to interview, you don't know how many interviews you're going to have or anything and which colleges they're going to be at but it like varies per subject. So I know biology is like predetermined, so you already know which colleges um, you're gonna get interviewed at. So it just like varies per subject. So for me, uh, for most subjects you apply to your college, so I applied to New College. And then for PPE, you're not guaranteed a second interview at a different college. You're, like you said, biology, medicine, you are. And so uh, for PPE also, you get one week's notice before you come down for your interview. At New College, I had a philosophy interview, a politics interview, and an economics interview. But at different colleges, it varies. So at Lincoln, you have philosophy and econ together, and politics separately, and you just have those two. And yeah, I only I only interviewed here in this year. But for example, Matt, another PB, is applied at uh, interviewed at three different colleges, but he did apply to New College, and he got into New College. So I had three interviews. Um, I wasn't told when they were going to be before I turned up. Um, first up, first day I was here, they just showed me a timetable what was happening and said it likely to change at any point, so you just have to check the timetables every every yeah. sort of yeah. really all annoying. the time. And like slightly stressful but also kind of soothing. <laughs> <laughs> well you know, you go to the thing, you say nothing's changed up and it barely changes but like you do need to check it. I think most people tended to have uh, yes like me three interviews here and then maybe one or two in another college. So I had one on philosophy, which was weird because I didn't know anything about philosophy and I wasn't, like, it wasn't my kind of, I suppose, field of expertise, but it was kind of standard, like, logic problems, which you don't need to know anything about philosophy to do, just thinking skills. And then I had an interview with uh, my tutor um, on an unseen bit of literature, which I was given some time to prepare in advance with an English translation. That was actually surprisingly fun. She was very friendly, and I had one with um, two of the language teachers, and it was it was going over the aptitude test papers that we'd done uh, before interviews, and that was again serious, but also they, they were very friendly. Nothing to be scared of. I think that they all need to do well because they want good people. I agree with that. So Ollie and I had the same interviews, although I interviewed the year before him. With with the philosophy, did you not get time beforehand to prepare? Yeah, like, we got like. 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, so I got like 15 minutes commentary. for my philosophy interview as well. But unlike Ollie, I had five interviews um, and I didn't get pulled anywhere. So I had four in college, at New College, and then one at the Classics faculty. I had an ancient history interview, a literature interview just like Ollie, except we didn't talk about the language and the literature. I was given the translation with it and we more we discussed around the translation as well as who I thought the Latin author was. Um, or Greek author, or Latin, Latin. Latin yeah. Um, and then, so then I had, so I had the ancient history, philosophy, literature, and I also had the one in the college, um, sort of language. But unlike the boys who took the cat, who went over the their test, I actually just had a general personal statement interview because I didn't do any Latin or Greek beforehand, so my we didn't go over my test because I had the classics faculty interview, which went over my test, which is the classics language aptitude test, where they make up a language and I had to translate it so I did that test beforehand, the CLAT, which some of you might have taken. And so at the faculty they, we had half an hour interview discussing that and general grammatical questions 
and also um, talking a bit about my personal statement and any language work I've done before, etc. So that is how I got asked by someone in my emails um, how Classics 2 and Classics 1 interviews would differ and I think it does vary by college but at this college specifically um, the only difference was the in, the in college language interview. Yeah. So for Beginners Russian you have two interviews which is slightly different to the other Beginners language languages. Like I know my friend she just had one Beginners Portuguese interview. So one is done by faculty, so you go separate from the college and it's more like a language based interview so they ask you about your grammar and they just see whether you'd like cope with intensive like grammar lessons and they ask you about like whether you'd cope on the year abroad because for beginners Russian you go in your second year rather than your third year and it's quite intense and then in college we just had a general like literature interview asking what books I'd read it's pretty standard and then for German we had another literature interview but we also had the conversation in German but she asked me like what books I read in general so I just talked about the books I read on my personal statement. Yeah I had three interviews all on one day and then so I was there on the Monday and then they just kept me there until Wednesday but I only had three interviews on Monday and that was it so I was just sort of around college doing nothing for two days. Yeah, I had yeah. that as well. It was quite lonely, to be honest. But, so, my first interview was in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was given an unseen poem and then had to sit outside and analyse the poem and then discuss the poem inside. And then that happened again with a piece, I think it was another poem in another interview, so for some reason did that twice. And then another one was... Hmm, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, yeah. I remember it was very much guided by the personal statement, like the areas that they asked me about were to do with stuff I'd mentioned, so they used the personal statement as a sort of map to see what they could talk about. And they also talked to me about what I was doing at A-level at the time, so we were studying Paradise Lost, so she brought up Paradise Lost. I forgot to say that we were given two texts when we arrived at interview, so one was an English poem which was for the Russian interview. So they were just seeing like how you analyse poetry. And the other was a text in German, so it was an article. So that meant that I could use like a dictionary. But it really like depends on college and your tutor. Like I know some people who are doing German, they got their German text 15 minutes before interview. So obviously they didn't have as much time to look up all the words. But before my German interview, I also got given 15 minutes before an English poem which I found quite strange, but it makes sense because they just want to see how you analyse the poetry. So basically, like, for a physics interview, um, most of it is just, like, technical questions. So it's quite like the PAT exam that you sit beforehand. So you go through, like, very similar questions, and um, there's, like, no pressure, really. Like, you just have a guess, and then they'll kind of, like, guide you through it and kind of give you hints and tips. And then at the end you'll you'll come up with an answer. So yeah, it's quite it's quite relaxed really. How many did you have? I had four, um, but that's just because um, I also got offered the chance to have a material science interview as well. Oh. Um, so after I'd done my three physics interviews, I also did a material science one too. So because I'm doing German Soul now, my interviews would have been different. So if you apply to do a Soul language, you have two interviews, I think. It depends on, probably depends on college. But you'd have the literature interview, which I was telling you about, but then you'd have a more general interview based on your personal statement. I did get asked quite a lot about my personal statement for English, like one of my um, interviews was pretty much only about the personal statement. So there's quite a quick turnaround from realising you have an interview to actually going to the interview, it's about a week, so make sure anything you've read, like you said you've read, you have to read it, because they will ask you about or it. Or like reread yeah, it. Yeah, reread yeah. it. And if you, like I had a piece which I'd said I'd read, but I actually read it in translation. I didn't specify that I'd read it in translation. So make sure stuff like that you do mention because they will bring you up on it. And it was not good. So yeah, unlike you guys, I didn't get asked about anything to do with my personal statement. I guess because like it's such a broad subject, they don't really feel the need to ask you about it. But I would say it's good to go through it just because you can't actually prepare that much for your interviews mm -hmm. so just being able to go through your personal statement is like for yourself to make you feel calmer because that's within your control even if it's of no use or not.
I did get asked about my personal statement, but at the beginning of my interview, I had a short conversation in German, mm -hmm. and that's where they brought in the personal statement. So it was just like a general conversation, so it's pretty standard. But yeah, I did get asked about my personal statement. Not at all. They never brought up my personal statement or anything that I'd put. Um, it was just purely get in there and let's do some math, let's do some physics. It was nothing about anything else. So were uh, each of the two for physics just problem sheets or...? Yeah, like all of them. Yeah, I had three for physics and it was just I'm purely three. like technical questions, um, let's draw some graphs, things like that. So n nothing about me or like anything else. It was just pure skill. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all different to ours. Yeah. yeah. Um, I should say, I did get a little bit of questioning on my personal statement, but really, like, the last 10 minutes. Interviews differ between colleges, and I think, especially with classics, some people that I know only had two interviews at their college, and then we had four. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it does really vary on your college, and most of the time your college will have the information on the website, although the new college website is quite bad. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. know. But then equally, like, don't pick your college based yeah. on how many interviews or what the interview That's process what is. <laughs> <laughs> really? um, okay. no, well, I mean, it's, to be fair, like, most of, they say most of the colleges are similar. That's not true. There is a great <laughs> variation between colleges. But if you really feel comfortable in a college, don't not pick it because they make you only do two instead of three, or they make you do five instead of two. Like, just go with the college that you like. Generally, yeah. Yeah, I'd say like read the alternative <laughs> like prospectuses because they often have stuff about interviews in them. And I didn't do that. I read the alternative prospectus after my interviews. So. <laughs> um, so I looked at the college websites to just see generally. I chose to apply for classics quite last minute. If you read my blog, then you probably know about that because I switched from science. And so I didn't really know what kind of interviews I'd have for classics. So I looked on the college websites that I was considering for applying and it got down to Trinity College and New College. And the reason why I, I think I would have chosen New College anyway, but one of the reasons why was because I went on the Trinity website for classics and it said, you're going to have a 30 minute philosophy interview. And I thought, no, <laughs> I cannot do philosophy. I've never done philosophy before ever. Um, I don't know how to prepare. And I just did not want half an hour talking about philosophy. And New College had nothing on their website about the interviews for classics. So, yeah, I do think I would have chosen New College anyway, but I chose New College, I turned up, and they were like, you have a 30 minute philosophy interview. <laughs> 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 so, the that's me. Fate. No, 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 but I actually, my philosophy interview, I think, went, was the best. Ooh, Ooh. Was that one? I think, for me, more than the actual interviews, what I find daunting is, like, having to... So, not socialising that, oh, people are there, I'm scared, whatever. Yeah. But it's like such a intense environment. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, everyone's lovely and everyone is nice and kind and friendly. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it is sort of a competition. Some people are going to get in, some people aren't. And so the interviews were fine because, you know, you're applying for that. That's what you're passionate about. That's what your interest is. But then having to socialise, I spent a lot of time in my room. Same. Just because you don't want to, I felt like I didn't want to talk to people and get nervous yeah, or yeah. stuff like that. Definitely. So that's what I found more daunting than the actual interviews. I spent quite a lot of time in my room. I didn't know where the JCR was. Same, um, I, I never went yeah, to the JCR. I, I, never oh, the JCR. I spent a lot of time in LL6. Yeah, um, same. Um, just talking to people. Yeah, I, I, I had agree along like quite a similar, a similar path, to be honest. Because for me, coming here, it was quite different from what I'm used to. Cultural wise I come from like quite a poor small town in Lancashire and then coming here and there's a lot of people who come from very different backgrounds to me and at first I felt quite intimidated especially when you talk about like it being competitive as well because you're kind of like forced to look at your competition and you kind of then realise those there are people there who are more the sort of like traditional Oxford student um, and then you're sort of comparing yourself to them but then when you actually get in and you actually get here, you sort of realise that like the traditional Oxford student isn't really that much of a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like so so many diverse people from lots of different backgrounds. So that was quite intimidating for me in interviews. See that's yeah. quite interesting <laughs> that both of you said that um, that you stayed inside all the time, well not all mm -hmm. the time, but most of the time in your interviews because well I wasn't there when Ollie interviewed, but when I interviewed, I socialised quite a lot and then all the classicists 
prime, there were a group of us who always went out to explore Oxford together. So there's one boy, Charlie, who lives in Oxford, so he kind of took all the classes on the tour around Oxford, and then we got lunch together. So all the classes were quite close, and I barely spent time in my room actually, given that I was in the president's suite. <laughs> <laughs> I was here for four days. Um, yeah, so I actually, yeah, I socialised quite a lot, but I think that's also because. I genuinely did not mind if I didn't get in, just because at my other universities I applied for a combination of classics with science and language. So because I had those interests as well, if I didn't get in, I'd be equally as happy at another university doing all the other subjects that I wanted to do. I think that's really important to remember. Mm -hmm. I feel like the super competitive people just get overwhelmed. So I've done my Russian interviews and I think this is partly the reason I got just the German rather than the Russian. I just went into German and I was like, do you know what, Like I've done the Russian. Um, if I don't get in, it's not the end of the world. And I just really enjoyed the interview. I was really like passionate about the book I was talking about, which was like the main part of my interview. I just think your tutor, they're looking for someone they can work with, someone they're going to enjoy spending time with every single week. And I think that's so important to remember. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And like, they know as well that you're going to be super, super stressed out. Mm. I know in my interviews, I had like one argument, not not argument, <laughs> <laughs> strong word, but um, debate. A, a debate, a discussion <laughs> kind of thing, where um, I was doing this, I was doing the answer to this one question, and I basically had to do like two times three, and I put five, and they are like, mm. are you sure about that? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and they were like, are you sure about that though? Do you want to check that? And like in that sort of panic state that you were in in, in interviews, I was just like looking at it and I was like, two times three is five. Yes, yes, it's definitely <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back again because one, the camera cut off in the other video and two, I've got some different people, more friends, more friends to talk to you. I don't know about you guys, mine was fucking like, terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I can't swear. <laughs> mine was really bad. Like, I thought my interview went the worst it could have done. And I left my first, I had two. I left my first one thinking, that's it, I've ruined my chances. So I went into my second one a lot more relaxed. So I think that probably helped a little bit. Yeah, so it's the same, same for me. Obviously you get, both all the engineers get two interviews and they're all on one day packed in. So it's kind of, it's just <laughs> nice and it's one, one huge day of, uh, Excitement. Yeah. My first one, I was so tense. I'm pretty sure I like, teared up. I, I, <laughs> I found that like I was really tense, like walking to my interview, and then when I got into my interview, and I had like 20 minutes preparation time because we they gave us a text, like a passage from a text that we had to talk about in the in the French interview. I just suddenly became really calm, but I slept so badly the night before, and I, my interview was quite late in the day, that. I, I really enjoyed the interview. I just got caught up in it and sort of forgot where I was. And then as soon as I closed the door and walked out of the building, I just burst into tears. And it was <laughs> raining and I was like walking over my own like, I've screwed everything up. And then I was like, actually, I feel like that went okay. And I kind of enjoyed it, but it's just, it is a very tense experience. My second interview, I was really calm. It, I had a general interview because they think they give everyone at least two interviews, but I don't do dual honours. So I just had quite a relaxed general interview where we talked about languages in general and picked up on some of the stuff from a personal statement. And <coughs> that one I felt completely calm about. I, I did actually out. really enjoy my, my French interview, even when I, f I forgot how to speak French. Oh no. Like, which was quite, quite embarrassing. Also I spoke earlier with Lottie about the physics interviews and she said hers were very similar to the PAT. So I'm yeah. going to ask, is that the same with engineering? In terms of the questions, yeah, they were just very deep. <laughs> they, were, they definitely probed your understanding of things, things you thought you were sure on, you were no longer sure of when, yeah, when for, you left. Yeah, so. for engineering, and I think probably science in general, definitely need to know your A-level content inside and out. Because mm -hmm. that's what they're going to, essentially going to string a load of the A-level ideas and try and get you to explain something that's yeah. far more complicated than <laughs> yeah. using them. Which is, yeah. And getting mm -hmm. stuff wrong is good. Mm -hmm. So I got to the end of one of the questions and he just said, now, um, do you think your answer is right? I had to say no. But it's just <laughs> what I thought. Yeah. Can't be afraid to get stuff wrong. The worst part of the interview is definitely waiting outside the door to be called in. Oh, yeah. definitely oh, waiting gosh. outside the door. In, in my very first interview, I had an ancient history one, and I could hear what the what the other yeah, person yeah. before me was yeah, saying. So it was really scary because I was thinking they're saying so much better things than I'm going to say. <coughs> my second interview, someone came out and they said that was dreadful before I went in. Yeah, oh, no, that happened to me as well. Yeah. When the poetry it, it really, and that was my that was my second oh. one, and that was the worst interview I had. I made friends 
that I met at interview that I kept in touch with over the year and am mm. now friends with. Like, yeah, same. Here yeah. <coughs> I remember like, we were playing a ton of board games in the like space yeah. in the morning, and a lot of the people that I met on that day, I'm now really good friends with. Mm. And then it's the way I saw it was as I mentioned earlier in the other video that I didn't really mind much if I did get in for classics because I have the interest of science and language as well. So I kind of went into it as well thinking if I make friends with people here, then if they get in, I can just come and visit them. Yeah, <laughs> I think also like the experience of not everyone spends a night, but I spent three nights because it's quite mm. a long, quite a long journey, and they'd asked us to hang around in case we got called for interview at other colleges. Just the experience of staying in a student room in this beautiful place. I found that really exciting. I yeah. think as well because the people I met, everyone was just kind of walking around like, wow, look at this. Yeah. And that was really nice. I found like when I when I left, like when I left Oxford, I thought, well, I can't predict how my interviews went, but now I feel like I've got something to lose. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. such a yeah, yeah, lovely yeah. idea yeah, before you actually come and spend time here. And it was just like, I can see myself being a student here. Like I can see yeah, myself I here. Yeah. It was a sort of, like bittersweet moment leaving because I was kind of relieved that it was over but I was like I, I want to come sad. back yeah. I want to come back I remember everyone used to ask me how are your interviews I said I really really enjoyed them yeah. Yeah. and it, I, which I did enjoy the interviews to a certain extent but I more enjoyed the atmosphere yeah. and like meeting yeah. and I think although it was stressful but then it's not stress I don't know I found it it was stressful but then at the same time it was really fun yeah, and looking back at the resort, you see. It sounds to, strange to say that, yeah. <coughs> I suppose it's like, it must have been nearly two years now. It is unlike any other kind of interview yeah, experience for universe. Yeah. But also, that's one of the reasons why I ended up applying for Oxford, because I almost didn't, but I thought I just want the experience, whatever the outcome, yeah. I want mm, the experience yeah. of applying. No, definitely. Yeah. I think like I think being here, even if you don't get in, it's definitely worth. Yeah. Like if if you even if you knew you weren't going to get in, it's worth coming to the yeah, interview yeah. for it's, the experience. It's of the yeah. That was the case in my interview that all the other engineers they got the same questions at least on that day. The same in my philosophy interview. Lots of the classes had it the day before a lot of us, and they just came out and just said one of them cried, and then everyone else was just saying it's really really hard. But then they were also saying there's no way you can prepare for it. So we were just thinking, yeah, we have an entire day <laughs> <laughs> to the interview. But yeah. it wasn't as bad as they all said it was. Yeah, that, it was the hanging around is one of the worst things. Mm. Accommodation meals free of charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you get to live in a fourteenth century castle for a few days and yeah. pretend you live there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all moving out next week, so you guys can <laughs> live in our room. Oh, <laughs> you can take over. I don't want to leave my room. <laughs> no, me either. Well, actually, I get to keep mine because I'm helping out at interviews. Oh, really? Yeah. I was so gonna if you're applying to new school. college, then you might see me around. I wouldn't try and guess if you do get called to another college or not. I yeah. It doesn't mean don't anything. Read anything into no, it. don't read too much into it because yeah. we don't know how, how it exactly works. I suppose for engineers because we we were it was set in stone that we had two interviews, yeah. one at the college we applied to and another. Oh, oh, I know that's the same with biology. So biology biology different definitely different was faster to get a second interview. So some people get a second interview whilst they're here. They're told, I think you get you're getting another interview, which is which is slightly different, more nerve wracking. <coughs> Whereas for us, it was very much. You have this interview at half past nine, then you have another interview just after lunch. Oh. Mm. Yeah, kind of... It's quite interesting because I know <coughs> we shouldn't read too much into it, but when the, with the classicists, we all so we finished our interviews in the evening on the Wednesday, and we had until the Thursday evening slash after like, late afternoon to find out if we could go. So we're all just sitting in LR six. I had a miserable. I I'm sure just every time I walked let's past just, that room. Let's just go. Um, so we all went out and had lunch together, and we just walked oh, around the markets and so had nice. a tour. Because one of them lives in Oxford, so he just showed us all around. Oh. And then I remember we were sitting in George's. I mean, George's is in the, in, in the covered market, and one of them just gets a text with a photo of like the names of people who could go, and pretty much all of our names on there were on there, and we all just kind of thought, oh. So like we haven't got that's, in. Yeah, that's and it, was, for us. it yeah. just the morale just went down and then yeah. we were all walked back to college and we saw one of the other girls with her suitcase leaving and it was just really it was a sad moment because yeah. we were all going and we all took it badly, even though you shouldn't read into it, but we did take it badly. Yeah. yeah. Max says, Did you find that it was competitive when you got here? Everything's really lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't meet any of the other engineers yeah. that weren't competing for places, yeah. but everybody was so nice. I, I think there was a feeling of solidarity between all the, yeah. the linguists. Yeah. It felt like I was just genuinely wishing everyone else well, and then it was yeah. quite sad leaving because I thought, like, 
most of these people aren't going to get in. I was there literally on my own. There were no other engineers um, really around because I was. I literally had a nine o'clock um, interview and everyone else was in the afternoon, so yeah. no one else had turned up yet. Oh. And that means, yeah, it forces you just to meet the different subjects. <coughs> I think yeah. people know the situation you're in too well to try and like psych each other out. Yeah. So everyone was really friendly, and no one sort of said, oh, "I made this really good point," or yeah. they just tried to like everyone was respectful. Well, Jody says. What did you wear for your interviews and how was best to prepare? Okay. Wear something comfortable. I definitely stress yeah. about what I was wearing that I, you really shouldn't. Yeah. Just, I, I, I just, wore jeans and a jumper. Yeah, same. I wore yeah, jeans, jumper like, and boots. Yeah. Well, I wore a full suit and I got in. I wore a suit. Yeah, I, well. I don't know. Most people, I would say, were just literally in a shirt and jeans. It was like smart yeah. casual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of smart casual. But like, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make no, a difference. No, they, they don't, really don't really care. Comfort. Comfort. But yeah, make sure you're comfortable. If you're comfortable wearing a suit, then yes, wear a suit. But don't put on a suit just because you think that they'll, they'll be impressed yeah. by it. Mm. Make sure you're comfortable. And preparing. Eat a good breakfast. <laughs> have a good night's sleep. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, quite a few people went to the pub. But if that's your thing, <laughs> that relaxes you. Because it's all helps. about being yeah, relaxed. Yeah, it's yeah, about, yeah. I'm not saying don't go to the pub. It's because it's all about, I'd definitely say get a good night's sleep. Yeah. And just relax mm -hmm. is, is the best preparation. So in my personal statement I've written a lot about literature and rather than thinking, oh gosh, I've got to reread the, the, the books a million times, I've thought about the sort of arguments I've made in my personal statement and actually tried to think about like my ideas rather than just trying to cram and like learn all these facts about Victor Hugo. Yeah, just get used to backing up your ideas rather than mm -hmm. trying to know absolutely everything about your subject. Another question I got emailed about did you get asked about your personal statement in your interviews? No. Um, I <laughs> oh, did. Really? Not for sciences, yeah. I don't think I they ask well. you. I did. I did. So <coughs> I did get asked about my personal statement in one of my interviews. Um, I spoke about this more in the other video, but I so I did get asked about my personal statement. I did get asked a fair bit about my personal statement because it was it was specific to the work experience that I'd been doing oh, really? and how that was relevant to the course. So and the biggest problem was that I hadn't read my personal statement for oh, quite no. a while. So they asked me they said, So Andrew, you really you really like bridges, do you? And I was like, do I? Yeah, so just be ready for what they're saying. But really, yeah. the personal statement, they're not trying to catch you out as much as ease you in. Just sort of. Yeah, get yeah you they ask you personal statement questions to make you feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. They're, not, I, they're not meant to catch you out, they're just. Yeah. I had two interviews, and the first one, the personal statement formed the starting basis, and the second was written work. So the first one, it was quite a lot about the personal statement. But I prepared for that before I came. But I went with my dad and sort of like wrote questions on my personal statement printed out and we discussed it and like did questions that we thought might come up to oh, prepare and talk through it. So, so that, that really helped. Yeah. Ask me, do they talk about your written work at all in your interviews? Yeah, so my second interview was basically all on my written all work. Right, really? So more than the personal statement one. And that was quite scary, that was the one I didn't like because they went into quite a lot of detail. And I'd sent work from AS or like Mao's China or something, and I couldn't remember it at all. We had to send in an, an essay in English and an essay in French. None of it was stuff that was like topics that were actually that relevant to to the, the course. So I think it must, must depend on... I don't know if they asked me about my written work specifically, but in my history interview they asked me about Cicero and I had written one of the one of my essays was on Cicero but then I had also mentioned him in my personal statement so I don't know oh, okay. whether it was a com combination yeah. of both or yeah. Or Tom says, when you came out of your interviews, did you think you got in? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way of knowing, no. basically. Because no. I came out of my interview and burst into tears <laughs> because I was just so drained. There's just no way of knowing. Yeah. Oxford interviews are definitely different mm. to any of the other interviews I had. And like, I did a lot of like mock interviews and none of them were anything like Not, that. I don't think anything like, can prepare you it for really it. Really can't like, fully. Fully. But it's also worth noting that your interview isn't the only thing they care about yeah. as well. I don't know about you guys, I had to do an entrance test yeah. 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 and they yeah. like take that into account, your interview, and your, your, your predicted grades, yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. your reports from your teachers, like and all the stuff about yeah. like where you're coming from and so your academic background. background. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. with, with any subject, they're more interested in your thinking process yeah, than in than what you're yeah. 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 By the time this video goes up, they, people who are watching this said they have interviews this year will just have like a week to two weeks left to prepare. So oh. like, what would you say okay. that you did in the week leading up to your interviews? If you remember, <laughs> panicked. <laughs> <laughs> panicked. <laughs> panicked. <laughs> panicked. Yeah. Just look forward to having a few days off school, really. Yeah. Well, I was, I was really excited as well. My dad drove me down and just sort of stepping into the car, I was like, oh, I'm off on an adventure! <laughs> Make the most of the fact that you are in one of the most beautiful cities yeah. and use that to take your mind off uh, everything that you're terrified if, of. If you, have free, if you have a free moment when you're here, 
just go for a wander around and make some um, friends. Yeah, like make some friends. I'm yeah. really good friends with people. Who yeah, I'm really good friends with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Other than panic and look forward to it, did you do anything after? Oh, I had a really nice change journey down actually, because everyone, literally everyone on the train down to Oxford was looked like they were going for interviews. Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> and so I actually sat on the train. I sat next to a third-year biochemist whose boyfriend was an engineer. So she just told me oh, everything oh, about engineers. Yeah. Oh, that's so lucky. <laughs> And like you don't really know how to prepare but general advice is to obviously look through your personal statement make sure you haven't sort of lied about anything and if you have try to not make it a lie <laughs> and also like generally find out a bit about the potential tutors at the colleges because they're most likely going to interview not always the case for example Bailey will have they like hire people to do their interviews um, and then find out what their like field of focus is and try to read a little bit up on that. Obviously you can't in one week in detail, but even a little bit, at least it will show interest and you know, you'll stick in their mind. The biggest tip, as Emma says, is if you calm, you'll perform to your best. So I just think you have to look after yourself to the best of your ability while you're here for interview, especially with sleep, making sure you eat. I was running on hysteria basically, <laughs> just black coffee and sleep deprivation yeah. for my, my first one and I would not recommend that at all. Another tip is um, just take your mind off it during the day so you'll have, a few, well, you'll have yeah. a few hours really in between interviews in which just go have lunch with some new people and yeah. just literally just take your mind off it, talk about literally anything other than the interview. Yeah, if you bring a print out of your personal time. statement it's, that's definitely a good idea. Definitely mm -hmm. agree with that. They're going to be teaching you quite closely for the next four years or three yeah. or four years so they want to know that you're not a bad person, they want to know that like, <laughs> they'll enjoy teaching you basically. <coughs> yeah, because if they're going to be spending you know, a few hours a week with you, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's also something I said to myself when I was doing interviews was if the interviewer or the tutor doesn't like me, then it doesn't mean that I'm not good enough, it just means that, that we wouldn't get along yeah. Yeah. if they were going and, to teach me. And sometimes that could be why people get called to another, to another, another college, college perhaps. Don't panic too much, it'll be okay. If you've worked hard enough to get this far, just take it as a great opportunity. Yeah. And if you don't get in, that doesn't mean you're not clever yeah. enough, mm -hmm. you're not good enough. It's just the way things worked out. Yeah. You're going to have a fantastic time wherever you end up. Yeah. Just don't think about it too much. Okay. No, we definitely have a bloopers video for this. Yeah, we are going to have a bloopers video, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, I look to approach it now. <laughs> um, <laughs> <What's the same>? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Teresa <laughs> and I'm a PBA. It's all going to be in It's just going to be me dancing with something in my head. head. <laughs> <laughs> so I had an ancient history interview which Ollie didn't have. But well, I think I should have had it, but he wasn't around. Weird. <laughs> okay. What <laughs> I'm not here of my own religion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all. <laughs> I had. What else did I have? You had a lot of tea. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know I should have this chip. I know, it's yeah. so weird. I'm going to do mine as well. Mm, 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 mm. Be like, I'm here with some of my friends. These are my friends. Do a small thing. Guys, like, what happens um, if you get invited down to the interview? Like, when you were. If when you got told that you were probably, that you were invited to interview. So when you get invited down to interview. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my really like in the middle. I don't probably. Want to be in the middle. <laughs> no. You're so cute. Enjoy yourself. We're really That was at the beginning bit. Ollie. I'm so that was the intro. Well, I wasn't there when Ollie interviewed. Me. I interviewed the year before you. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Very oh. muted colours. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Trude. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a university challenge. Like no, it's a university. This is a hate on my heart. Escape. Are you always? I had to do a lot of editing. Yeah, you have a lot of editing yeah. to do. Breathe, I so. love your whiteboard. No, we just have a little bit of I'm sorry for coughing. But we're not, so we're introducing ourselves again. Yeah. Oh, you look so cute. Uh, oh, stop it. <laughs> okay, we're all on the phone. Yay. <laughs> I think. I'm hoping that we are. Yay.